Matt Vacon from Google. Uh, I lead the product management team for Pixelbook. All right, so what are we looking at today? Uh, so this is a new, brand new Pixelbook Go, which is an addition to the Pixelbook family that we launched today. Um, it's an incredibly beautiful 13.3 inch uh, clamshell laptop. And what we're really focused on to build and add on to the Pixelbook family was one, a device that started at a lower price point. So the device starts at 649. And then we really focused on a very thin, light product. So an on-the-go user, you know, you're working at home, then you gotta throw it in your bag, take your kids to school, then go get some work done at a coffee shop. It's really that on-the-go user. So we made it from magnesium, which is a lot lighter than other materials. Uh, we added the grippable wavy bottom, which just makes this inc incredibly easy to carry and move around. And we added in a bigger battery than on Pixelbook. So we have, we have uh, 12 plus hours of battery life, so enough to get through the entire day. Yeah, so we have, we have a um, FHD uh, touchscreen, which we see is a very, very important thing. You know, I think when I look at my kids, I think they, they assume every screen in the world is something they can touch. So it's a very important thing that we, we focused on. Um, in terms of ports, we have uh, dual USB-C ports on either side, uh, along, along with a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So those are the main things we have from a, from a port perspective. And what about storage on this device and the operating system? It's yeah. It's different than Windows. Yeah, so the operating system is Chrome OS, which is an operating system from Google that we've been, started building 10 years ago. Um, and in fact, you know, I think it's about 60% of K-12 students in the United States are using Chromebooks now. And Chromebooks are, are the only thing that are growing in the laptop industry. So we're really, really proud of what we've been doing with Chrome OS. Uh, Chrome OS is much more secure. Um, antivirus is built in, automatic updates in the background. It's incredibly fast. You open the device, you boot up, and you go into it, getting things done. And if a lot of what you're doing is you know, working on the web or working with mobile applications, like the ones you have on your phone, those are what are available on the device. And um, show me how it opens up. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard here, but down here. yeah, yeah. So w one thing, you know, our, our engineering team and our design team really get attention to detail. So we want to make sure that you can be able to open it just with one finger. A lot of laptops, you have to kind of like hold it down, open it up. So again, for that on-the-go user where you're juggling multiple things, we wanted something that was very, very simple to use. So, yeah, yeah. Tell me some of these special keys here. Like, what's this key? I don't see a, um, a caps lock. Uh, yeah, so all Chromebooks, actually, we don't have caps locks. So this is, uh, this, is, this is the launcher key. So it just brings up the launcher menu, which shows you all your applications, and as well as a bar where you can do Google search. And then we have the assistant key, which with, uh, with Pixelbook, uh, two years ago we started this. So, oh, sorry, I'm in guest mode right now. Um, we're in guest mode. But we're it in guest mode. The assistant. Yeah, so it activates the assistant. You can do it in two ways. You can say OK Google, voice command, and it'll operate just like a Google Home Mini. Um, or you can press the key. And we actually see about 50% of the use is people pressing the key um, because a lot of times you're in meetings where it's going to be awkward to talk to your computer. And how fast does it start up and shut down? Uh, in a matter, matter of seconds. So we always aim for you know, starting up and shutting down in a matter of seconds. That is touch screen. And what do you get for this price? Um, so at 649, uh, we have a, uh, we have, it's, they're all with Intel Core processors, so we have an M3, uh, 8 gig of memory, which is really important. We didn't want to shortchange on memory because we see that really improves the user experience. And then 64 gig of storage. And then we have options to step up the processor, memory, and storage. And then our, our highest end SKU, we also have an option for a 4K display for the video files who really want that 4K display. Um, I'd say the uh, last thing we took great care in is the keyboard's amazing. We think it's the best, uh, best keyboard feel to type on. It's incredibly quiet. Um, we've been working on this for years and we continue to perfect it in all of our products. So we call them hush keys. And uh, we're really, you, know, you don't want to be the annoying person clacking away. And so we're very, very proud of the keyboard we put into this product.